Let's catch, catch up on the latest drama with the uh, ginger and the winger, we call them, Harry and Meghan. Joining me now is broadcaster Emily Carver, live from London. Emily, a source claims Prince Harry is spiralling out of control after he suffered a legal setback. How seriously do we take these reports? I, mean, I would have thought Harry has been spiralling since he met Meghan. This is nothing new. I think you're probably right, but he is suffering rather a lot of setbacks at the moment. And as you say, as you suggest, he's not the most resilient of men, is he? So this particular legal setback will be hitting him mm. quite hard. This relates to the ongoing legal battle against news group newspapers. Essentially, a big part of the case has simply been thrown out by the High Court judge. The judge said the testimony lacked credibility, and this relates to the phone hacking claims against the Sun newspaper here in the UK. And if you remember, when he was in the court, his testimony very much had holes in it, didn't it? It sounded like he wasn't quite sure what his case was exactly. It was a lot about his emotions and feelings of being hurt and abused by the press. Yes. But there wasn't that concrete evidence there. So he thinks he's doing the God's work, trying to campaign against an evil, intrusive press here in the UK, but it's not going too well. And at the same time, there are many rumours swirling around about his relationship with Meghan being on the rocks. Uh, we've also heard that perhaps they're looking to downsize. Of course, they've lost that deal with Spotify and the Netflix deal seems a little bit in trouble too. So things aren't going awfully well. But what I did see is there might be some good news for Meghan and her big political ambitions. Apparently, Joe Biden's sister, his activist sister, is supporting her as a female candidate for the next president. So who knows, uh, Meghan's ambitions may still be intact. <laughs> Well, she's in the right state. If you're in California and you're a Democrat, you're going to get elected. So uh, good on you, Meghan. But there are also reports that the Beckhams have cut ties with Meghan and Harry reportedly after several paranoid phone calls from the Sussexes. Tell us about this. Well, this is the thing. They were great friends, or at least they appeared to be great friends in the media. Posh and Bex, the celebrity couple, were at their wedding. They've been pictured together at many events, particularly Harry and David Beckham. They seem to be quite close, but apparently that could be completely over because Harry has been making phone calls, accusing David Beckham of leaking royal stories to the press. And this just shows, I seriously doubt David Beckham would do that firstly, but secondly, it shows just how paranoid Prince Harry is. And this is why he may be suffering quite a lot with his mental health and his resilience just simply isn't there. There's also reports that George Clooney and Amal Clooney have dropped them as well. They haven't been invited to Brooklyn Beckham's wedding. That's the eldest son of David Beckham and Victoria Beckham. They haven't been invited to his big football promotion events either. So it does seem like Harry is becoming a bit of a persona non grata. Well, George and Amal Cooney, of course, they were at the wedding, but when they were asked how well they knew the couple, how did they know them, they said they didn't know them, they hadn't met them. So uh, these friendships don't seem to have uh, a great deal of depth to them. Uh, Emily Carver, thank you so much for your time tonight.